for the past couple of years, he and Nitro and David have been my dog sitters. So, um, and those of you who know my dog, she is a 12-year-old Min Pin Dotson mix. She should weigh about 13 pounds, but weighs about 18 pounds. <laughs> And the big bad butch Sir Alan, anytime he would see her, would be just like, How's my little girl? How's Daddy's little girl? What's Daddy's little girl gonna do? <laughs> so Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, there's turkey and ham and whatever else she wants to eat, followed by Sir in a jock strap taking pictures of her sleeping in his lap. So because she's in a food coma. <laughs> Four paws up, she's legs in the air, I have no idea where she learned that. I don't even know where to begin. Um, beginning. Very good place to start. Like that. So I posted a picture on Facebook the other day, and I said that there was a story that went along with it. If you knew the story, you already know it. I wasn't going to share it on Facebook. It was the details were just too fucking amazing for it. So I'm going to tell it here. I first started hanging out here at the Eagle, and um, this, this is why, this is my home. And um, Sir and Nitro were... <laughs> That's what he's giving me right now. Here's my story. Every time, Eric. What? I'm just going to go take it. Give me my glasses. <laughs> This bitch is going to show pictures, I need my glasses. <laughs> so I first started hanging out here and I had such a desire for leather and no idea where to start. And he saw this confused guy and took me right under his wing and said, ask me anything. So I did. And one of his first stories to me, or his first rules for me, is if you're at this bar, don't come in here with anything less than a jock or nothing on. Yes. Don't fuck it up. So, okay, cool. No underwear or a job. That, those were your choices. So it was, it was a leather pride. Was it leather pride? Yeah. And we came back here Sunday night, closing everything. <laughs> You're already losing it. Um, everything's closing down. It, was, it had been a long day. It was really hot outside. I had on a pair of cargo shorts and I put on a pair of Superman boxers. Because we were going to be outside, right? It's hot. Want to be comfortable? Makes no sense. No, it doesn't. And not any good sense. Anyway, so we're standing down at the, at the far end of the bar where the, where the bartenders come in. And I don't know if the, I think the, the underwear was sticking up just above my shorts. And Sir looks at me in the middle of, in the middle of his cocktail and says, what are you wearing? <laughs> and I was so proud of myself too. I was like, oh, I got these drinks. Hello. <laughs> I think I won the ring top. I did too. I won a couple of them. So um, he's in the middle of sipping his drink and he sees these underwear sticking up above my cargo shorts and he says, What are you wearing? And I was so proud of myself. I was like, Oh, these are great. You're going you're gonna to love these. And I, I throw, the, the, I throw the, the zipper and the buttons open and he looks at me and it's the first time I think I ever trembled. I mean, truly, I'm six foot three, nothing much bothers me. He looks at me and says, what the fuck did I tell you? <laughs> to sign you over as a beneficiary of my life? I was fucking terrified. He says, what did I tell you about the underwear? I said, oh. But it's not a, it's, it's, it's not a, I'm, I'm trying everything I can. So I'm sorry. He looks at me and he says, you have two choices. You take them off or I cut them off. I said, oh, okay, I'll go to the bathroom. He says, where are you going? I said, I'm going to take them off. He's like, here, bitch. 
I dropped trout at the end of that bar, and I didn't put my shorts back on until I was told to, and I handed those over, and they lived in the eagle's mouth for a few days. <laughs> they did. They did. Those were mine. They lived there for a few days until um, they were finally uh, taken home to Sir's house, and I got the first text message I got was, your underwear are here. You have to come find them. <laughs> And I said, I'm not ready! <laughs> and then I got a follow-up text message with a picture that says, here they are, you have to earn them back. Oh. I twitched that a lot. They are in a pair of Sir's boots, his favorite, my favorite pair that he wore. They're in his boots, and they're in the boot closet. And I never had a chance to earn them back. And that's where they'll stay. There are lots of people that have stories about meeting Sir. And lots of people have stories about spending time with Sir. I was privileged enough to be called family. And I sat at the table and welcomed in New Year's for the past three years in a row. I want to say, it's a shame that he had to pass away to get so much fucking weather in this leather bar. <laughs> if you knew, sir, and he knew you, you knew what a privilege it was.